Happy Wednesday evening, everyone. Welcome to Stamp It Up with Jamie. Thank you so much for joining me live or on replay. I'm so happy you're here with me tonight. I'm just hoping I'm live in the right spot. So if I am, as you hop on in, let me know that you're here. Introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Jamie, and I am a Stamp It Up with Jamie. I'm a Stamp It Up demonstrator. Oh my goodness. I just got so tongue tied. Hi, Susan. Okay, good. I recognize some names, so I'm live in the right spot. I just had a moment of panic that I went live in my regular um, Facebook, like my personal page. So, um, whew. so my name is Jamie. I am a Stampin' Up! independent demonstrator now for five years, and I am just having the time of my life. I love this so much. I love card making. I love all things paper crafting, and I love to share it. So, um, I'm so happy you're here with me tonight or on replay and I get to share uh, tonight's card with you. This is my card that I'm going to be making and I'm really excited about it. So hi Christina and Beth is here, Amy's here. Come on in guys, welcome. Happy Wednesday evening. Um, I have like a kitty cat hair on my nose and it itches so much. <laughs> um, hey Kathy, thanks for joining me tonight. Come on in. Sit down a while, watch while I get to make a fun card for you tonight. So before I get started, I just wanna tell you a kind of funny story. So I don't know if you've been watching my videos for a little while, maybe you haven't noticed that something looks a little different. You could probably be like, Jamie, I have no clue what you're talking about. Renice is here, yay! I'm so happy you're here tonight. So I used to have like this big, um, like almost copper looking metallic like basket thing hanging here on the wall. Um, hi Shonda, thank you for coming tonight. I'm so happy to have you here and Heather's here. Um, so when we redid our basement, long story short, um, we had a decorator come in and uh, like design the space. It's our basement, but it's all um, like decorated and finished. That's the word, it's a finished basement. Anywho, so um, she hung this basket and for a while now, it was just hanging by a screw and it's kind of heavy. And I always said like, oh my goodness, one of these times during a live video, the thing is totally gonna just like fall down on me because it's like heavy and the screw was kind of like this. It's not even like straight anymore. I'm like, this thing is gonna come tumbling down on me in the middle of a live video, I'm gonna get like a concussion, I'm gonna pass out on the floor in the middle of a live, I can just see it coming. Now, it wasn't enough for me to actually take it down. <laughs> I was kinda like tempting fate, like how long can I make this work without this thing falling on me? Um, and you'll notice it's not there. <laughs> So the other day I'm sitting here in my chair and I had to stand up for something and so I like pushed my chair back and like stood up and the chair like hit the wall and the thing came tumbling down and luckily it didn't hit me on the head and I didn't pass out and have a concussion and like you know in the middle of a live but it, came, it like fell on my lower back and the thing is heavy like it's it's full on metal and like it just bam and there was like stuff all over the floor and yeah, so I now have this vacant spot here in my wall and like I don't even know what to do with it because I'm not a decorator. I do crafts, I do cards, that's my thing. Decorating is not. So I'm very grateful that A, it didn't fall on me during a live and B, that it fell down at a time that I wasn't like underneath it for it to like fall on my head and like kill me. <laughs> So that's kind of my story. It's not here. So now I have this vacant spot. If anyone has an amazing idea as to what, <laughs> I was just going to say, what should I do here? Amy's like, cover it with pretty cards, just like cards. <laughs> um, let me know what you think I should um, put here because now I have this space and I'm not hanging that thing back up, <laughs> but I don't know what to do. I should put my grocery list there, Rosie. That's the reason why I go to the grocery store 10 million times, because I don't create lists. I create them in my head, then I go to the grocery store, I come home and I'm like, oh shoot, I forgot sugar. And then tomorrow I have to go back and get the sugar. But in going to get the sugar, I forget the milk. So I have to go the next day and get the milk. I hate grocery shopping. I hate it so much, so much. Um, all paper it with leftover DSP. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can you imagine just like a wall of DSP? 
I don't know. It's I gotta repaint it because now it's got like marks on the wall and stuff. But it's like I don't know what to do. I because you see it in my videos. I don't want to put like you know a giant portrait of myself. That would be awkward. So I don't know what to put there. Anyways, keep brainstorming ideas. I'm all ears. You really like the basket. <laughs> My back hurt a little bit, but I was okay. I I, so I just kind of like old ladyed it for a little bit, like, oh, my back. As my grandfather would say, oh, my aching back. Um, but I was fine. I really was okay. I just was kind of glad that it happened, not in a live, um, because that would have been really bad. <laughs> you would have been calling 911 on my behalf or something. I don't know. So, ode to the missing basket on the wall. <laughs> Giant portrait of myself. I don't think anyone wants to see that. <laughs> a custom sign, that would be fun. That would be fun, yeah, I can see that. It's gotta be something pretty, right? Because like you see it in my videos. Anyways, keep brainstorming ideas. Let me know, I'm all ears. I am not a decorator. I do not have an eye for like home decor. My walls are basically bare because, except for down here, because like a, we hired someone to come in, but basically everywhere else my walls are bare, so. Okay, <laughs> enough about that. I wanted to explain the missing basket. And um, anyways, <laughs> so a couple of things. Tomorrow, I feel like if I could somehow do a background drum roll, that would be perfect. Like tomorrow is free shipping on all orders over $50. So free shipping rarely comes around. Like it is doesn't ever come around. So mark your calendars, get your wish, wish lists ready, um, set an alarm if you have to, whatever you have to do. Tomorrow is free shipping on any order of $50. That is a minimum uh, $650 in, in savings. So you could get, what can you get? Almost like a pack of cardstock. <laughs> So that is tomorrow for 24 hours. So come June 25th, you missed it, okay? June 24th, tomorrow, any order of $50. Here's the thing, on any order of $58, 365 days out of the year, I give you a free $10 item. So tomorrow, not only will you get your free shipping, but you will also get a free $10 item from me. And because I have the power to do so, I extended my free um, embossing folder sale till tomorrow. So it was supposed to end yesterday. I'm extending it one more day because why not? Hello. Um, I can do it. So yay. <laughs> so if you want um, for any order over 75, you get a free embossing folder. Anybody else hearing like the bells of savings and bells of sales and whatever going off like in the heavens <laughs> so tomorrow june 24th let's say you place an order of 75 dollars you're gonna get a free embossing folder of your choice you can pick anyone except for the blooms bloom blooms something like that um hybrid folder 50 uh, it'll also give you a free 10 dollars item that you can choose any product i don't have a set item you get to choose i order it up and then it will ship for free it's great being your own boss. It sure is, Amy. It has its perks. It can be stressful at times, but it definitely has its perks. I feel like I got the power. <laughs> so um, mark your calendars tomorrow. I do have a current host code you can find over on my blog. Um, you can use that at checkout. And I usually beat you to it, <laughs> but either email me, I'll email you and um, get you those items. Is there a limit to the free shipping amount? Is there a limit? Um, it just has to be over 75. Uh, oh, free shipping is 50. An order of $50, it can be a $200 order. Um, you'd be saving $20. Um, no, no max. Minimum of a $50 order, but no max. Yes, thank you, Pam. And you will also earn star rewards. Star rewards are my kind of way of saying thank you for being my customer and shopping with me. And basically for every increment of $25 in your order, you receive one star. When you have accumulated 12 of those stars, you get a free $30 order for me. You pick the $30 items, I order it up for you. Easy peasy. So let's do the math again because Pam's right, those star rewards. 
if you place an order of $75 tomorrow, June 24th, only for 24, for 24 hours, you'll get a free embossing folder, you'll get a free $10 item, it will ship for free, and you'll earn three stars towards your free $30 item. <sighs> That's like so much, I'm like winded from saying it, honestly. Yes, I understood your question, Denise, it's all good. That's a heck of a lot of savings, like, whoa, hello savings. So get ready tomorrow. It's going to be a busy day. They're my favorite days out of the whole year. Lots of great ways to save. Um, the fact of the matter is I am, I like to cut coupons. I like to look for deals. I like to find sales. I love clearance racks. Ooh, you never know what kind of fun goodies you're going to find. And I want to try and save your money as well. So we all want more stamping product. So let's try and save us like, you know, as much money as we can, because the more money we save, the more product we can get. <laughs> it's a no-brainer, right? Ka-ching. Exactly, Renice. Ka-ching. Okay, let's get started on tonight's card. It is super fun. I'm going to show you how to make this perfectly symmetrical image here in um, the center. So I am going to flip my phone around. I usually fumble a little bit, so just kind of bear with me, and uh, we'll get started. And then I'm usually way off, which I am. There we go. Ooh, it's like slowly falling. Hold on, let me tighten it just a smidge more. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't want that falling in the mid middle of the video. That would not be good. <laughs> it wouldn't be the basket falling. It would be the phone completely falling. Okay, so here is my card tonight. Let me just get a drink of water. I am a huge water drinker. I always have a water bottle near me, so... Okay, here's my card. It's all about the layering. It's a simple design with lots of layering. And then I kind of created this symmetry, perfectly symmetrical uh, stamped image here, which is super easy to do. No guesswork involved. I'm going to show you step by step exactly how I did it. It's really, really easy. Thank you, Rosie. Speaking of colors, I used Flirty Flamingo, Night of Navy, and Bermuda Bay. And I took my inspiration right out of the Sweet Symmetry Suite, which you can find on page 112 of the annual catalog. So if you're ever kind of stuck on colors, like you have the stamps but what in the world colors do we use? What colors look good together? How do we use colors? Go to your annual catalogs, go to your current catalogs and see what colors Stampin' Up! is putting together. And it will, um, it's an easy way to put colors together. Right here we have Bumblebee, Calypso Coral, Flirty Flamingo, Night of Navy, and Jet, well, they use Just Jade. I'm using Bermuda Bay. Actually, I didn't know it was Just Jade. I thought it was Bermuda Bay. Eh, what do you know? <laughs> I honestly thought it was Bermuda Bay. I guess I should have used Just Jade. Oh, well, I'm going to be switching it up ever so slightly. Um, but there you have it right there. Five colors you can mix and match. You could just do like the the uh, warmer colors. Um, if you're ever wondering what colors to get, use, you got it right there. The great thing about a suite is that Stampin' Up! puts this product together for us, product that coordinates. We know it will go well together. It's designed to work together. And in the sweet, um, <laughs> sweet Symmetry Suite, uh, there are, um, you have the In Symmetry Bundle, so that's two different products. You get the stamp and the punch, the Sweet Symmetry Designer Series Paper, and then the Flirty Flamingo Gold Metallic Ribbon. So there's four products that come in that suite, and if you want an easy shopping, you can use that number right there. And if you buy one extra little thing tomorrow to get you to 50, you'll get the free shipping tomorrow. So these suites are really great. Um, here's a closer look at the stamp set that we're going to use. And like I said, it does come with a punch and I'm going to show you. Okay, so let's take a, did I not grab it? Oh my goodness, I didn't grab it. Hold on. Uh, where is it? There it is. I'm sorry about, oh wait, wrong one. Hold on. Sweet. Where is it? Oh boy, hold on. Where is it? <laughs> oh my gosh, I have no clue where the stamp set is. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sweet. Oh my goodness, I have no clue where the stamp set is. 
We may finish early tonight, folks. Hold on. Oh my goodness. I didn't pull the stamp set and now I can't find it. Um, hold on. I'm looking sweet as a peach, sunny sentiments, sweet ice cream, tasteful touches. Oh my goodness. This is so embarrassing. I have no idea what I did with the stamp set. Hold on. Let me just look. talk amongst yourselves for a second. <laughs> this is horrifying. Hold on. I should scream upstairs for my oldest because she can find anything. Like if anything is missing, she's my girl. She's the one that could find it. Uh, oh, no, why? Because it's called in symmetry. Oh, Jamie. I was looking for sweet symmetry, but it's in symmetry. Oh, goodness. Is it in the basket of stuff? <laughs> no, I was looking for sweet. I have my stamps alphabetical and I'm like, it's not in sweet because it's in symmetry. Duh, Jamie. Okay, that was a little bit of a scare. I thought, okay, we're going to have to finish this uh, video <laughs> and start another time. Okay, start over. Here we go. Here's the stamp set. Really great, big, chunky floral images. I love the font and these sentiments. Really, really, really pretty. Very curvy and feminine looking. So sweet. Love them. And it pairs with a punch, okay? And this a great punch because you can use it um, as a border punch and I can show I'm going to show you how to do that in a second or you can use it just to pull to um, cut out little leaves okay so real easy um, again this is the bundle so you're going to want the bundle you save the 10% when you buy it together Heather I have yet to find the missing refills like I know I bought them when I do my um, scrapbooking retreat. So I'm hoping in November they mysteriously appear in some part of my stash. Um, <laughs> but I have no clue where they are still. When I find them, I will sing it loud and clear. So just we got to wait till November. I'm sure I'll find it then. Okay, so let's dive into today's card. I'm going to walk you through how I made it. Except I, because I didn't know where my stamp set, I have no stamps blocked and ready to go. This is fun. This is very um, off the cuff tonight, y'all. <laughs> okay, so my card base, Bermuda Bay, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. Again, you could use Just Jade. I literally two seconds ago just realized it wasn't um, Bermuda Bay and it was Just Jade. Um, but I'm going to score that. Then I took another panel of Bermuda Bay and four and a quarter by five and a half. And I already did the embossing. I used my favorite and you're going to be sick of me using it because I just keep grabbing it. I just love the subtle background that it makes. Um, so this is the tasteful textile embossing folder and I already embossed that ahead of time. And then that is just going to go one over the other. Um, oh, you haven't used it yet, Susan? You have to. I hope you're inspired by tonight's card. Super fun and really easy. Like the symmetry looks like it could be a little challenging, but it's so easy. Oh, have fun, Roz, with the grandkids. That's so sweet. My kids went to my parents two nights ago, so I know all parents appreciate grandparents. Okay, so then I have one pattern from the... Is this called Sweet Symmetry? It is. That's why I was getting confused. So this is the Sweet Symmetry Designer Series paper. All of our paper is double-sided. One is more graph, um, like imagery, and one is more uh, like patterns. So I'm using the one, the floral. Really pretty. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is one, I think this is a, yeah, one and a quarter by five. Okay, one and a quarter by five. And then it's matted on a piece of basic white which is one and three eighths by five and one eighth. So anytime I mat, you're gonna notice, I do it all the time, I mat one eighth bigger, okay? So this is one and a quarter by five, oh, excuse me, one and a quarter by five, and then this is just one eighth bigger on both sides. Okay, so we're gonna end here. I cannot believe I almost didn't find the stamp set. That would have been so bad. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was, gave me a little scare. Forget the bone folder. I can't lose the stamp set. Okay, that's going to go on our card front, kind of to the left, like so. Okay. And next, I'm going to build and make this beautiful symmetry. Now, there's a couple of images that you can use in this, and I kind of went, like, back and forth on what images that I want to use. Um, 
I was going to use this one maybe in the center, but I wasn't sure. In the end, I went with this, and I really am pleased with how it came out. But just to let you know, there are a bunch of different um, images that you can use um, and make different symmetry. Honestly, you could do so, so you can make a huge symmetrical image, really fun um, with the same principles that I'm going to use tonight uh, for, um, you know, something fun. Okay. So the key to the symmetry, now you could eyeball it. Good luck with that. I am not great at eyeballing, but if you want perfect symmetry, you're going to need a Stamparatus. Okay. A Stamparatus is an amazing tool that everyone should have. It does so many different things, and I've taught some techniques and things kind of over the years. Um, but one of the great things is that it will give you perfect um, placement each time because, um, well, it does. <laughs> okay, so our Stamparatus has two hinged sides, and it does come with two hinges. I'm only using one tonight. So they hinge up and down and then you can move them as well, okay? So one of the things you could do is, um, like if you're using Memento Black, I highly recommend this. You could put down your cardstock, stamp, re-ink, and then stamp, and you'll stamp in the exact same spot every time. That's probably my favorite way to use the Stamparatus, but tonight I'm going to use it for symmetry. Now, on the, you can't see this, but up here, um, I just have an ink pad underneath the hinge because I'm going to put my stamp here. And when I ink it up, it's nice to have like a little cushion underneath because if you don't, you kind of bend the the hinge here and it's just not, it's better to have something underneath it to give it a little oomph. Okay. So I'm starting off with a panel of, <clears throat> excuse me, three and a half by three and a half. I'm just going to do that because I'm, I don't know. I always do it this way. So to do it sideways feels a little weird. And I am going to pick a spot. This is my grid paper here. And I'm going to spick a, spick a spot. <laughs> Not spick a spot. I'm going to pick a spot. And let me see if I can get a... Do I have a pencil here? I did have a pencil here. So I'm just going to mark this is my spot that I'm hitting each time. Okay. So I'm going to put my cardstock, again, three and a half by three and a half, right in that corner. That's where I'm starting. I'm always going to put my cardstock here. If my cardstock... Well, it's going to move because I'm going to move it. But um, that is a very important to either remember or to mark a corner where your cardstock will go. Okay. Next, I'm going to start off first with the kind of main floral image. This one here. Okay. And I'm going to put it, I'm going to aim for center. Um, shoo, I should have, oh, well, okay, we're good. It's all good. If I had smudged over a little bit, actually, I'm going to do it. Hold on. I'm going to smudge it over because then I'll be able to get it really, I'm going to move it there. That way I can get it, um, centered better. That's my corner. That's my corner. Now, here's the thing. Do not let these magnets touch each other. They will <laughs> attract and they will, um, not let up. Okay, so we're going to go there. I may end up needing to trim my cardstock a little bit, depending if I am off center a little bit, but I think we're good. I'm a little nervous that this isn't going to work. It worked perfectly fine when I made this, <laughs> when I made the sample. We'll see if I can get it again. Okay, so I have it center this way, right? Because this is my center line. So I have it eyeballing at center. We'll see. I'm going to have to trim afterwards. And then, so I have it there. I'm going to move my hinge to pick it up. I'm going to pick it up slowly because the paper does stick to the, because it, especially as a photopolymer stamp, it's going to want to stick to my cardstock. So I'm going to pick it up slowly. I am going to ink up my flower. You're going to want to have a chamois handy um, in case you get, so I inked it up. But if you get ink like around it, you're going to want to clean it with a chamois. But so far, so good. I probably will at some point, but so far, so good. And I'm just going to flip it around, press it down, give it a second for the ink to kind of come off of it, and then gently lift it up. Okay. Then what you're going to do is I'm going to move my cardstock 90 degrees. Okay. 
and you don't have to put the magnets down each time you can um, as I went going and I probably will do the same tonight I wasn't putting um, the magnets down anymore you don't have to do that but um, for right now sake I'm gonna do it hey mom good evening thanks for joining I'm re-inking my stamp and I'm gonna hinge down again press it down give it a second slowly lift it off um, I'm gonna move my cardstock 90 degrees again you get where I'm going with this so easy right ink up my stamp oh, see that time I got a little ink on the hinge just wipe it off if you did wrap it around hinge down now that's gonna stick but no big deal okay 90 degrees again make sure I kind of get it even ink up my stamp clean it if you get any ink on the hinge like I keep doing <laughs> and down it goes and lift up there you go okay perfectly symmetrical I had to think of the word <laughs> perfectly symmetrical um, stamped image so now I'm gonna move on to the next one which let me oh I'm gonna put that there no I'm not gonna put that down there I'm gonna put it there is which one is it um this one here I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you next I'm gonna do this one actually let me close this up before I put my elbow in it we have a big hot mess on my hands oh thanks Kathy I appreciate it okay so I'm putting my cardstock back in my magical corner I have it marked so I know where it has to go actually this time when you start off you do have to use the magnets because you have to pick up same thing I am going to put my stamp where I want it ah, it's a little tricky because um, where's my thing it wants to stick to my fingers stay <laughs> don't move okay so that's where I want it I'm gonna wind my hinge around press down and pick it up lift slowly so that it releases from the cardstock it did, did move a smidge it moved a smidge let me just make sure that's still good yeah we're good okay this time I'm stamping a knight of navy whoops okay wind it around press lift up then we're gonna turn it 90 degrees these ones I don't have to use my magnet I can just um, I can just do it sort of freehand wind it around press lift kick it off 90 degrees the hardest part is making sure you really get it back in that same spot <laughs> that's the hardest part okay down and then one more this is my last one for the night of navy and then we're going to move on to the flirty flamingo okay and down you go hey marissa no problem thanks for joining tonight i appreciate it okay so that's it for the night of navy now we're going to move on to the flirty flamingo oh joanne i'm so glad this is helpful it's a really cool way to stamp something evenly and um it's perfect for the insymmetry um stamp set honestly it's like a match made in heaven next i'm going to move on to this like little small flower okay and I'm going to, again, because it's my first time after this, I won't have to. But first time I have to use my magnets just to, so it doesn't lift off. And this one's a little trickier. I have to say of all the image, of all of them, this one's like was the trickiest. Because I wasn't sure if I left enough space. And honestly, I'm not sure if I did again because I think I stamped them a little closer. So I'm going to, this would be great for, um, for making multiples of this right because you have it all positioned and as long as you're putting your card stock in the same spot you literally could whip out I don't know 10 20 30 cards like this and have them all come out perfectly the same these two cards will vary a little bit because um, depending on where I put like my flowers they're gonna stamp in different spots but I hope that makes sense but if I had kept every I should have I actually probably should have kept it all on the hinges um, because then it would have stamped um, perfectly the same uh, but I didn't so hopefully this this works again it worked in my sample so in theory it should work again 
it. Okay. Um, you've never tried this either, Rosie? Oh my goodness, it's so easy. So, so easy. Gently lift. Eh, that's totally lifting. That's why you lift gently. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Let me just make sure. Okay, we're good. Um, this one I'm going to do in Flirty Flamingo. These little guys, you probably are going to get ink around your hinge just because like as I, it's so little and I'm like bringing this ginormous ink pad to it. So if you get ink around it, you know, just take your chamois and clean, clean your uh, hinge. No problem. Okay. Here we go. I'm committing. Ready or not. <laughs> there we go. Okay. This is going to be the test. They might overlap a little bit depending on, let's see, will they? Oh, they're going to like touch. I think they're going to like barely touch. Ooh, they're so close to each other this time. Pick that up. Oh, there's a little space there. Move your cardstock 90 degrees. You get the point, right? Easy peasy. Over you go. Press down. 90 degrees. This is our last one. Whew. Oh my goodness, Renice, if you don't have the Stamparatus, you need to. Oh my goodness. It is a lifesaver. It does so many different things. I should probably do a tutorial or something on like the bajillion things that it does because it's so handy. And this is just one of the things it does. Honestly, there's so, so many different things. It's just a really neat tool to have. Okay, there we go. So again, because um, I had my... I. <laughs> I started off a little differently, space-wise. Um, they do look a little different, but same gist. So obviously I stamped way higher my Knight of Navy ones over here and my Flirty Flamingo are a lot closer. Um, but it doesn't really matter. It's still symmetrical um, and really fun. Oh my goodness, you need it. Everybody should have a Stamparatus. It's unbelievably handy. It's just a really, really cool tool to have. Okay, so um, this was three and a half by three and a half. I matted it on a panel of Night of Navy, which is three and, yep, three and five eighths by three and five eighths. Again, this card is a kind of a simple design. It's all about the layering. Everything is layered and has like a layering component to it. Okay, that goes there. Ta-da! Um, okay, so I did this little like leaf detail here using the punch that it comes with. I apologize, you're going to get a glare off of my lights. But so this cuts out two leaves at a time. Yeah, <laughs> you can see my my lever there. Um, but it can also create um, a border. Okay, so if you see on the punch, I'm trying to catch it. There's two lines here. See the little line? There's one there and there's another one there. So if you wanted to create a border and you wanted them to be perfectly spaced, you would line up my cardstock right up to that line, that little line there, okay? And it's butted up against this lip right here. I apologize, I probably moved the camera. There's my two leaves. Then I'm gonna shimmy it down until my, until my negative lines up with these images over here. So right about there, and I'm going to stamp again. Oh, that was a little close. <laughs> Did it stamp well? I don't think anyone's going to notice that that's a little trimmed. But you can create a border punch. So if you scrapbook and you have like a huge 12 by 12, you could create a total complete border of this beautiful leaves all the way around. And at the same time, you get the fun leaves <laughs> that it comes out. So it's like twofold. It creates, you can create a border. You can just cut out the leaves. Um, I was playing around. I almost did something completely entirely different and had um, this kind of on the side here. And I don't know, maybe I'll still do it someday. But <laughs> that was my original sort of thought process. But then I switched up. I decided to do something different. So I'm going to put these leaves down. I'm sorry, I have to do it again. That's going to bother me. I'm here telling myself, like, it's fine. It's good enough. I hate good enough. Good enough. I, I want it done right the first time. Let me just do that again. Let me get one that isn't. There we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, there we go. Whew. Much better. <laughs> hey, Kay, how
how are you doing tonight? Thanks for joining. Appreciate it. I am using liquid glue just to put one leaf sort of that way. And then as I'm all gluey, one leaf going that way. And then the same on the bottom. Appreciate you sharing it. Thank you so much. One leaf going that way. And then if I can pick it up, one leaf going the other way. Like so. It's a small detail. You don't really, really see it. It's not like in your face. It's just a nice little kind of, huh, look at that. Isn't that fun in the background? Okay. In my sample, I didn't adhere this down with uh, dimensionals and I'm completely regretting it. So I'm going to adhere this one down with dimensionals. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So on Tuesday, everyone, uh, well, yesterday, that was yesterday, I got to see the new July to December mini catalogs. And I also got to see the July, August, uh, not July, August. Yeah, no, that's not right. August, September um, celebration. It is so good, guys. It is gorgeous. Lots of fun, beautiful product for all of our fall and winter holidays. I am super excited about it and you are going to love it. <laughs> so um, I would love to know what is your favorite fall winter holiday? Is it Halloween? Is it Thanksgiving or is it Christmas or New Year's? I guess there's four. You could just throw New Year's in there as well. Um, what is your favorite fall winter holiday? Let me know in the comments. I'd be curious to know. My favorite fall winter holiday is Thanksgiving. I love prepping all the food. I just love the day of. We play games. We watch football. I just, I love Thanksgiving. I would love to know what your favorite holiday is. I know it's a ways off, but I'm curious. Okay. I am going to add a couple of gold pearls. Well, they're metallic pearls, but I'm using the gold. You get silver and gold. I'm using the gold. And I'm going to just add a little one under the Night of Navy. Um, oh, I'm so glad you like it, Joanne. I'm so happy. Okay, I'm adding just a little gold one right underneath my Night of Navy floral. Just to add a little bit of something. I the um, I'm using the ribbon, and the ribbon has gold in it, so I figured I'd use some gold pearls. And I was like, what do I do with them? I was going to kind of scatter them everywhere, but I'm like, the whole point of this is symmetry. I can't just go scattering. I have to do it symmetrical. So symm symmetrical it was. Symmetry one. Okay. This is definitely the, <laughs> the Flirty Flamingo are closer. The Knight of Navy are more spaced. <laughs> oh, I think everyone likes Thanksgiving. It's so fun. I agree. The food. And Christmas I find stressful, especially from like a parenting point of view. The leading up to it, the wrapping, and then did the kid not get the one thing they wanted? I mean, it's just so stressful. I like Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's just fun. Okay. I did not put sentiments on blocks. So give me a second. I just got to. I'm using the Hey Friend, which is right here. Hey Friend. And then um, this one I'm going to use for the inside. I might as well take it out while I have it. As I completely forgot to do this ahead of time. Okay, so my sentiment, hey friend, I have that in, that's the outside one. And I'm stamping that on a three and a quarter by, what is that? One and three quarter. So three quarter by one and three quarter panel of basic white. And I'm going to stamp that in Night of Navy because out of the three colors that I'm using tonight, Night of Navy is my favorite. I love blue. Blues are, I just love blue. Okay, so Hey Friend fits perfectly. Three quarters by one and three quarter basic white. And that's going to go on matted because it's all about the matting. It's all about the layers tonight. A small panel of Native Navy. It will be 7 eighths by 1 and 7 eighths. So just 1 eighth bigger than our sentiment here. And that's just going to go layered one over the other. Hold on, hold on. Don't, don't go down. It's, it's off. There we go. <laughs> There we go. I was afraid it was going to commit and then I would be stuck with a crooked center, a crooked uh, layer. Oh, it is a little crooked. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Can I just push it down? Oh, 
go, 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 go. Okay, that's a little better. Oof. Oh, <laughs> I'm so glad, Marissa. I keep it really real around here. This is just kind of who I am. I'm kind of goofy crazy. I don't take life too seriously. <laughs> just got to have fun, right? You got to laugh. That's what life is all about. You got to laugh. Okay, so I am going to, I'm going to cut this and then I'm going to trim it. So this is the Flirty Flamingo in gold ribbon. It's beautiful. It has this gold kind of woven through it. And so it has this nice like little sparkle to it. And I'm just going to fold it under um, kind of rustically. I'm not going to overthink it. Do I want it that long? I think I want it that long. Ooh, I lucked out. Um, so this measures like five inches. That's about five inches long. I usually don't measure my ribbon. I literally put it on and then trim it. <laughs> um, oh, that sentiment. Why is that crooked? I feel like I need to pull it up, but I'm afraid if I pull it up, it's going to completely warp it. Um, oh, the baking aspect of Christmas. Oh, you know, I used to, as a kid, we would make so many cookies. Oh my goodness. We just cookies, cookies, cookies. And as a parent, I never, I haven't like adapted that with my kids. And I think just because I find Christmas so overwhelming as it is as a parent that to add cooking on top baking is like, oh my Lord. So, but, um, I would love to do it. I would love to, you know, cause I have gr such great memories of baking with my parents growing up. Um, but I just haven't adapted it. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm going to do with the ribbon. I just folded it in half, literally. And I'm going to put some adhesive back here. And I'm going to do it here while I can kind of figure out how I want it to look. And then I'll adhere it onto the card. So I want it like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then that's going to go like right here. Now, granted that one little guy kind of gets lost, but that's okay. I'm going to put it just a smudge higher. And we are going to layer this thing up with Stampin' Dimensionals because when in doubt you use Stampin' Dimensionals, I mean, hello. Okay. Here we go. One, two, and here we go. Ready or not, I'm going to commit. I want to make sure that one dimensional catches the cardstock. I think we're good. Oh, I love this card so much. Love it. Okay. For the inside, I have a four by five and a corner panel of basic white. And well, let me show you. Here I am talking about it and I haven't showed you. Oh, wait, that's not. Where's my card card? What did I do? Oh, there it is. It's hiding on me. This is what I did for the inside. So for the inside, I stamped the You Are Perfectly Unique, beautiful. I just love that script so much. And then one of the floral images down here in the corner. So let's do the sentiment first. I'm gonna do that in Night of Navy because again, of the three colors I'm using, it's my favorite. I love navy anyways. Um, so here we go. Aim for straight, aim for center. And if I'm off, I'm just flipping it around and doing it again. I think we're good enough. Um, okay. Now, because I d obviously didn't have this ready to go ahead of time. Um, oh, hold on. I have it over here. I <laughs> don't have anything blocked up. Okay. This guy has to go on a block and then the leaf is down here. Okay. Now, as I'm wrapping up, I'm just about done here. If you've been watching and you would like a chance to win tonight's card, make sure you leave a comment. You have a couple of moments. I'm just wrapping it up now. And as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to throw all of your names into a hat um, for one lucky winner. It will go out in the mail as soon as you let me know your address. Um, the leaf is going to be stamped in Night of Navy. Also, don't forget tomorrow only free shipping. And you can, um, on any order over 50, any over or or <laughs> any order over 75 um, will get you that free embossing folder as well. So um, if you have any questions, I'm always here to answer questions. Please don't ever hesitate. You can message me on Facebook. You can send me an email. You can message me on Instagram. However you want to get a hold of me, please don't ever hesitate. I love to answer questions. I love to be a help in any way I can. So please just always reach out if you have any questions. I'm never too busy um, to get back to you. Sometimes it takes just a little bit if I'm in the middle of something, but I will always get back to you just as soon as I as I have a moment. So. Oh, good.
good, Susan. Yes. Play around, play along with it. See what you come up with and then email me a picture of it or post it on Facebook. I would love to see what you make. <laughs> Oops. Okay. So that's the inside and adhesive, adhesive, and then in it goes and we're going to be done. Easy peasy. Oops. Don't commit. You're not straight. There we go. Hold on. Let's flip it over. Do, 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 do. There we go. What do you think? Do you like it? A little different. This one came out a little differently depending on your spacing and whatnot. Um, but really easy to use. Super, super friendly. Um, definitely beautiful product. So check it out in the annual catalog. If you are um, looking to place an order tomorrow, head to Jamie B, J A I M I E B dot com, B as in boy. Um, you'll find all my links over there to shop, uh, my links um, to get my free tutorials and all the goodies. That's kind of like my catch all link. So um, have fun shopping tomorrow. Get that wish list going and ready. And um, I will be back next week, same time, same place. And I hope you'll join me then. Take care, everyone. Have a great night.